The Hunters of Men by John Greenleaf Whittier Have ye heard of our hunting o'er mountain and glen, through canebrake and forest, the hunting of men? The lords of our land to this hunting have gone, as the fox hunter follows the sound of the horn. Hark the cheer and the hollow, the crack of the whip, and the yell of the hound as he fastens his grip. All blithe are our hunters, and noble their match. Though hundreds are caught, there are millions to catch. So speed to their hunting, o'er mountain and glen, through the canebrake and forest, the hunting of men. Gay luck to our hunters, how nobly they ride, in the glow of their zeal, and the strength of their pride. The priest with his cassock flung back on the wind, just screening the politic statesman behind. The saint and the sinner, with cursing and prayer, the drunk and the sober, ride merrily there, and woman, kind woman, wife, widow, and maid, for the good of the hunted is lending her aid. Her foot's in the stirrup, her hand on the rein, how blithely she rides to the hunting of men. O oh, goodly and grand is our hunting to see in this land of the brave and this home of the free. Priest, warrior, and statesman from Georgia to Maine, all mounting the saddle, all grasping the rein, right merrily hunting the black man whose sin is the curl of his hair and the hue of his skin. Woe now to the hunted who turns him at bay. Will our hunters be turned from their purpose and prey? Will their hearts fail within them, their nerves tremble, when all roughly they ride to the hunting of men? Ho! Oh, alms for our hunters, all weary and faint, wax the curse of the sinner and prayer of the saint. The horn is wound faintly, the echoes are still over cane break and river and forest and hill. Haste! Alms for our hunters, the hunted once more, have turned from their flight with their backs to the shore. What right have they here in the home of the white, shadowed o'er by our banner of freedom and right? Ho, alms for the hunters, or never again will they ride in their pomp to the hunting of men. Alms, alms for our hunters, why will ye delay when their pride and their glory are melting away? The parson has turned, for on charge of his own, who goeth a warfare or hunting alone. The politic statesman looks back with a sigh. There is doubt in his heart, there is fear in his eye. O oh, haste, lest that doubting and fear shall prevail, and the head of his steed take the place of his tail. O oh, haste, ere he leave us, for who will ride then, for pleasure or gain, to the hunting of men? I will add a little footnote to this reading from something that I picked up online, and I will p place a link to this um, in the description below. Um, Whittier attacked the hunting of fugitive slaves um, and put his faith in public pressure to end slavery without war. He attached this introductory note. These lines were written when the orators of the American Colonization Society were demanding that the free blacks should be sent to Africa and opposing emancipation unless expatriation followed. See the report of the proceedings of the society at its annual meeting in 1834. Um, and my commenter also points out he then suggests with irony that these hunters will give it up if they don't get alms or approval. As a pacifist, Whittier put his faith in public opinion and passive resistance to slavery. We see how that went, just as we see in our own day, how uh, public sentiment goes when it comes to writing injustice. At any rate, as I said, I will link to this in the description.